Today I'm happy to be joined here with Chris and Donna with Slay the Night and today we're going to be talking about their Valentine's extravaganza coming up uh, just a day after Valentine's Day on the 15th. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about it. It looks from the Facebook page, it looks like it's going to be a really fun night. So first, can we just start off what people can expect from uh, this extravaganza? Well. Thank you for having us. So on February 15th, we're having our third Slay the Night uh, joint performance. Uh, during this evening, we're going to be doing a, a little bit different. We're going to do a dinner during the show. So of course, you can expect the usual drag queen performances from our five amazing queens, but also we're going to do supper, and then also we're going to do a um, different type of dating games. We're going to do the newlywed game for the couples that we have in the audience, and then we're going to do a dating game where the singles hopefully will get up on stage and they're going to be vying for the queen's attention, of course. So. <laughs> And so what goes into planning something like this event? Because uh, it is a different kind of event. It is a drag <laughs> show. So what, what work does goes into putting on something like this? So I would say the main thing is getting community and the local Lloydminster citizens involved. We are partnering with the Legion this, uh, for this event uh, from the I guess the jumping off point, they've been nothing but supportive. And so once we secure a venue, just going through the itinerary, what we want to do for the evening, trying to mix it up from our previous performances, and then just sitting down with the amazing group that we have that will be forming and participating that evening to, for, to making the night great. And just the makeup and for the queens getting ready alone, that puts that takes a lot of time as well, right? Right. So um, my drag performer, uh, per, uh, Alter eager, I guess. Uh, her name's Naomi Imon. I, it usually takes me about two hours just to put on my face. And drag is not cheap, so the amount of stuff that actually goes into that is amazing. But just when everybody's so reception, receptive to it is amazing. And Donna, you're emceeing the evening. So yes. what is your kind of role for the show uh, in general? So my role for the show is to first and foremost make sure that the evening goes smoothly and that I introduce all of the queens because first and foremost we want to have our fabulous queens off there and introducing who they are and what they'll be performing and then as each individual performance comes up I'll reintroduce that queen as well. Um, also the different games that Chris mentioned that we're going to be playing, make sure those happen in a timely manner, make sure that just the whole night just happens in a timely manner and it stays fun and stays moving. Now, uh, drag has become super popular uh, over the past couple of years with shows like RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, people are very much into drag and drag races and drag shows and drag queens and all that. So what do you think really draws people in uh, to the drag culture? So I think the main thing is because drag usually was, you can only find them in bars and select of the bigger cities. Uh, RuPaul's Drag Race has definitely brought it more mainstream. So I think it lessens the stigma that people have towards drag. And when they, when they see Drag Race on their TVs, it's bringing broader into their home. So I think they're just being involved in that fantasy. Because I mean, at the end of the day, drag is a fantasy and you just experience it for what it is. And you mentioned it in bigger cities like Edmonton right. or even Saskatoon. So how has the response been uh, since bringing it to Lloydminster as it is a smaller city? Right, so we had two uh, sold out shows in June and in October and it, it, the reception has been outstanding. We did a poll at the first one and we just took from that that we need more of an LGBT nightlife in the area. And it's not only just for the LGBT community because I mean that community is small on the relative scale, but we definitely want our allies and supporters to come out and party with us. Pretty much. And uh, really quickly before we wrap up, what are the, s some of the finer details of the event? Like where can people get tickets, the times where uh, the show starts and it ends, and um, kind of where it is as well? Um, the event is being held at the Legion. As Chris said, they partner with us, and so we're holding it at the Legion. It is on February 15th. The doors will open at 5. Supper is being served at 6.30, and tickets are available through Eventbrite through either the Facebook Slay the Night page has that link, as well as the LGBTQ plus Lloyd Minster Society has that as well. And if anyone has any questions or further questions regarding the night, uh, how can they get a hold of uh, 
of you guys. So they can just go through the Slay the Night page, they can just message us, one of the amazing queens will, just will respond back, or they can just on the Eventbrite send an email through that as well. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in, and hopefully this is just as great or even better than your uh, past events. Well, thank you. Thank you.